Hey guys, Chris here for GQ37. Just a quick video on uh, newer Toyota model vans, uh, particularly this, the Sienna. Uh, 2015 to 2020 year range, it seems that they changed the design and the gas pedal. Uh, I just learned this first-hand experience. My mom has a Toyota Sienna van, um, a 2014 she's had for many years for my sister to haul her wheelchair around. And she recently got a 2020 Sienna van with a wheelchair ramp lift that drives up into the back. However, uh, she had both vans at the same time and I immediately noticed that the newer van felt way more sluggish and just a delay hitting the gas and it just, it wouldn't, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't floor it or, or stomp on the gas and, and just really get up and go. You sure enough couldn't get in the high R RPMs, like above 4,000 RPM or so. It just didn't really make any sense and I, you know, so I drove it and I immediately knew what she was talking about. It didn't have that, that low end get up and go that her 2014 van did. Even though they're the same body style, it didn't really make much sense. So investigating it, I noticed um, that there's almost two and a half inches of gap of, of where you hit the gas pedal in her 2014 Sienna uh, to where you floor it. There was a good amount of space there for that gas pedal to travel, good movement there. On her newer van, it was barely an inch. So the gas pedal wasn't able to move as far. And the, so I took the gas pedal out of both vans and side by side I could see that uh, the new design is much thicker. Uh, they have this ramping effect, this huge chunk of plastic they put on there, whereas the end of her 2014 just has a small little nodule there, um, but it has a, allows the pedal to travel a lot more. So if you're experiencing a lot of uh, lag or feel like your newer van just isn't very peppy, it could even be across all the board on Toyotas. I've heard people complaining about the new Toyota Tacomas and things like that, not feeling as fast as your old ones. Um, even though there's more horsepower to the engines on paper. So I think that they may have changed the gas pedals across the board. The only reason I could think they would do this would be for EPA gas mileage. If your RPMs are lower, your gas mileage is better. Maybe Toyota's doing that, I don't know. Uh, but my fix for this, uh, because her van only has 30,000 miles, there was no mechanical reason for it. Spark plugs, air filter, you know, fuel injectors, all of that was fine. I knew this was a physical limitation when I saw the gas pedal. And so what I did, I did it as an experiment. I didn't want to uh, mess up her existing gas pedal on her newer van, the 2020. Um, so I just bought another one of these gas pedals on eBay for about 50 bucks. And it comes apart really easy. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts that come out here and then you're gonna squeeze and release the electrical harness there. Um, I attempted that with her 2014 van, however, they changed the, the plug a little bit from 2014 to 2015 and these uh, little plastic guides are on the other side so it's, it doesn't slide in there. Anyway, so for 50 bucks I got one and I cut uh, this bottom edge uh, basically to the lines here, uh, I used that as a guide and I cut that until there was plenty of pedal clearance and you could actually floor the gas pedal all the way down and then I rounded the edge and voila now you can have full pedal travel now she can floor the van and actually get all the horsepower that she paid for on those RPMs and you can get all the way to that 6800 6800 I think it is RPM red line before I could the highest I could get it outside of eco mode going downhill was 5000 RPM flooring it and uh, it just it was it was silly. Her other van felt so much faster. It was amazing. The 2014 felt faster, even though it had less horsepower on paper. Same engine, um, but anyway, it was just a physical limitation. So all that to say, I, uh, if if you're feeling like your new van or Toyota um, is more sluggish than your older Toyota Sienna or other model, this could, again, this may not just be the Siennas, but this specifically is for the Sienna. Um, if you're noticing a big difference between your older vehicle and, and your newer one, it could be the gas pedal. I don't know why, um, but it's worth checking out how far the pedal travels because her old one was almost two and a half inches, new one was one inch, and so we fixed that problem. I just shaved that off and uh, that worked very well. So this is her other pedal that um, I didn't cut, so I'm just holding on to that. But uh, as you saw there, the, the difference in uh, the shape there, it definitely made a difference in driving it. Drives like it's supposed to now, so hopefully this information is helpful to somebody out there that may be having that same problem. Best of luck to you. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.